Good morning, campers. Welcome to Roundabout. This is a game just released on the Xbox One. That is a, it's a uh, port of a PC game that came out last year. An amazing game in which you drive this revolving limousine in a uh, kind of a puzzle-y sort of game. We're trying to get through various areas much like this. I am apparently much better at this game on Xbox than I was on PC. I would have died by now. And it's been the PC version. And it's got these absolutely fantastically retro and weirdly active uh, FMV cutscenes. And it's amazing. It's just, it's such a wonderful game. And it's, uh, half the achievements are song titles. Uh, there's there's an achievement that references the uh, 53,000 something number from uh, the Dead Rising 2 achievement where you have to kill every zombie in the game. And there we go, finally died. <laughs> it's uh, developed by Dan Teasdale and Panzerskank. Um, they, they, uh, No Goblin is the team, but uh, Dan worked on Rock Band, so there's quite a lot of references in in this game to that series. It's it's just, I love this game. It's wonderful. Not uh, and so I'm just going to play it for as long as possible. Uh, my goal here is to eventually unlock Desert Limo, because no one has beaten the eight-hour time on that yet. And there's an achievement for that. There's an achievement for playing the Desert Bus minigame for eight hours. What do I have as far as upgrades go? Nothing. Oh, first off, if you do get this game, the very first thing you need to do... Where's the extras? And let's go to main menu. The very first thing you must do when you are playing this game, its this is critically important. Absolutely before you do anything else, you need to go down here to extras, you need to enable awesomeness detection. Because if you don't enable awesomeness detection, they won't know how awesome you are. So it's very, very important. amazing to me that so many people don't know that's in there. I mean, I mean, it's been around since Rock Band, but, you know, I just, I don't think that, uh, I, I know there's more awesomeness in the world, and they, they, they don't, they don't know about enough of it, and they, they don't know if you don't tell them. You have to opt into that, and it's like that, that box you have to tick every time you download software so that they can track what you're doing and keep information about you. It's the same sort of thing, just less evil. Maybe. Hey, kid. The name's Mickey. Mickey the Mechanic. I've never seen anyone drive like you just did at the DMV. Can you show me some more? I need a ride to my shop down the block. Sweet! And this is how you do the roundabouts in the title game Roundabout. I understand roundabouts much better in this game than I do in Euro Truck Simulator. This spinning thing is even better from the inside. Um, they work out much better in this, and uh, of course you want to make sure you're hitting as many cones as possible, because uh, that unlocks your cool stuff later. So you want to be grabbing these coins, because they get you money. You want to be kind of hitting pedestrians, because that makes funny noises. And you uh, definitely want to be bouncing off of tires when you see them. I don't know how long it takes these coins to respawn. Okay, that one's already back. This, this is the future of transportation. There's an achievement for a really high multiplier. It's, uh, the achievement's called 25 or 64. I think it's like a 36x multiplier. It's, uh, I'm not sure what it's... I mean, I know this wow, song kid. here refers to, but I don't know why Have you ever thought of going pro? Look, pro. if you ever want to take on the city, just come back to me. Hell, I'll even help you out with parts. You and me, kid. We could go all the way. Okay? All the way to okay. space? You just met me. It's a little weird. But, kid, seriously, think about it. I'll be right here at the garage. If there's ever a game that needed a space level, it's roundabout. I can't believe I haven't hit anything yet. Oh, I shouldn't have said that out loud. I've picked up uh, $52 already. You can make money very quickly in this game if you can avoid hitting stuff. And it plays so much better on the Xbox than it did on my computer. Just, uh, my, well, my computer's a piece of crap, but also I 
I have this nasty tendency to play at lower frame rates than I should because I want it to look better. And then when you're on a console, you get you get the frame rate and the uh, you get frame rate and good looking game at the same time. Oh dang it! So, so much for my, my perfect streak there. I don't know where I'm going. Oops, sorry. Why am I apologizing to a to a motionless car in a video game? Running everyone over. I don't understand why I'm doing these things. I need eighty dollars to get that. So let's look for some upgrade points on the ground. Oh, moving cars. Okay, these are the bane of your existence. That one is oh, a little me. I don't like that at all. Ah, that was close. I'm slightly lost. Oh, here we are. Alright, so let's go ahead and pick up the next mission. I want to unlock Desert Limo before the end of the day, and potentially go for that achievement. Because no one's gotten driver? it yet. I'm sorry, my car is stuck at the stupid mechanics, and my kid is late for school. Can you give her a ride there? Thanks. I love that kid! Communicating silently was Giorgio's bread and butter. With just a quick look at the stare on that adorable munchkin, Giorgio knew they needed to make a detour. Uh, you can let's go pick him up. Made it. Billy lives over there. So the cool thing about the multiplier is, um, Alas, the coins bump your multiplier up, but hitting stuff keeps it going away. Georgio to get these pint-sized pals to school. So, he wants to sweep new horn. So you, you know, um, if you can't find a coin, you want to just like run stuff over to keep your multiplier from going away. Let's take the fire truck to school. I don't have a fire truck. I'm sorry. On the wrong way. Carefully as possible, because the trees will kill you. <laughs> trees are, trees are. Aw, oh, what did I hit? Oh, there was a barrier there. I didn't see. That was a 33x multiplier. That was so close. Trees are um, also known as limos bay. This is a uh, species of oak, I think. Can we keep going, please, pretty please? Aw, oh, fine. <laughs> You eventually unlock the ability to jump, which is where those the uh, up arrows come in. And that leads to all kinds of shenanigans. And oh, there's also just piles of money stashed in the world. To help you unlock the uh, various businesses you can own in the game very quickly. Even Giorgio can play better baseball than you. Show him. Giorgio had never used a limousine as a baseball bat before, but there's a first time for everything. Home run! All right, kids, see? That's how you do it. Now get out there and give me 10 laps. Come on, move, move, move! All right, so that has unlocked our first challenge, which is this this rather brutal little thing. Giorgio, here. the school's demanding that I teach soccer now. Apparently this isn't America anymore. You seem like someone who knows what soccer is. Can you show these kids how to bounce a soccer ball or whatever it is that you do in your sport? So you've got to try and bounce the soccer ball as many times on the top of the car, and it does not stay still. achievement for getting, I think, 12 bounces. It seemed a whole lot harder when playing with the mouse and the keyboard. Uh oh. Achievement gets! Achievement 
get? And my achievement? Yay! Okay, sweet. Wait, what am I doing? So the world record currently is 44 bounces. I, I don't think I'm going to even come close to that. But uh, I have beaten my only other friend who's got the game at the moment. I'm 90th on the leaderboard. Sweet. Well, let's see. I'm tied for... I'm tied for 79th. That makes me feel a little better. Not nearly enough people have played this game yet. I should not be anywhere near the top of any leaderboard. That is that is a sad and oh, that car is moving. It's a sad state of affairs when I can be at the top of the leaderboard. And let's see if we've got any money yet from our property here. 39%. my date down the road. Well, uh, I mean, we're seeing a movie after, but, well, she's just meeting me. Oh, gosh. Nervous date person. We will get you there oh, no. in time, and it will be well, a she's perfect date. Flowers. Damn it, Steve, you've ruined everything. <laughs> Nothing can possibly go wrong. Except lots of, lots of pedestrian murder. Hi. Uh, I love how people just appear in the car. There's no opening the doors. Just poof, they're in the car. Let's go, driver. Being awkward. So, uh, oh, I you like movies? That. Upgrade coin here. Yeah. All right. Movies are Upgrade okay. Coin. Combo you coin. Like movies? Star power yeah. coin. I love movies. What about you? No. Uh. -oh. Sweet, another billboard. Oh, I can buy the entire drive-in. Sweet. You are now earning me money by going to see this movie. Awkward date person. No! Yeah, sometimes you get wedged in somewhere and you just kind of pop. It's... Just Let's something see. you'll have to get used to and get better at the game. New. New. I, I meant new, Thanks. but I so guess new. Do I pay you now could or be a later? Thing. Or do I. Oh! Thanks, Giorgio. Ow. Alright, so this has been Roundabout. I'm gonna keep playing and attempt to unlock Desert Limo. And you should go buy this right now. It's on Xbox One, $14.99. I mean, it's an amazing game. If you didn't love all of those cutscenes, you're a terrible, terrible person. Go forth and purchase eight. And I'll see y'all once I have Desert Limo or something else awesome. Next time!